Now, so many towns do not need any more rain, especially the towns we're talking about tonight. These two really waterlogged. Our crews fanned out around the region where a lot of water has piled up, especially in Excelsior Springs and Mosby. And all that water led to evacuations today in Mosby. That's where 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan starts our team coverage today. This is the fishing river which flows into Mosby and you can see the water just rushing underneath the bridge here in some areas just inches from 69 highway. But once the water gets out onto land, the rising levels can be deceiving. Last time flooding hit Mosby, it, the water levels rose rapidly because of flash flooding. That was about two weeks ago. This time, officials say the river levels were high before and the land is just saturated. The evacuation is not mandatory, so many people here plan to stay in their homes. However, they are keeping a close eye on the water. I would say maybe a third will evacuate, but most of them just move their cars out of town and get them up in high water and then wait it out. The Jeep was high enough last time, but it won't be this time. It'll run in the water, though, but you just got to stay on the road and get out of here. But I won't stay until it's too bad. If it's too bad, we just got to go. Well, it hasn't rained here in the last four hours, but you can see we have some officials out here checking the water levels because it does not mean that the river is not rising. You can see it's starting to pull over on the side here and continuing to rise, but we'll continue to keep you updated on this developing situation. For now, we're live in Mosby. Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.